friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Avatar Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Nagy and I am an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about transmission techniques which are used in the radio telephony communication procedures. You can also use these transmission techniques which I'm going to discuss in today's session for preparation of your RTR Aero exam. So let us start today's topic. Transmission techniques so friends let us first understand why we should be familiar with transmission techniques in radio telephony communication procedures so friends you must be knowing that the pilot and the ground personnel they used to communicate with one another and that communication is by means of the radio telephony so it is very important to know the radio telephony procedures and the standard phraseology. Otherwise, what will happen is if there is no use of standard phraseology in the radio telephony, then misunderstandings can happen. And in past, many incidents and accidents have taken place because of the misunderstanding caused by the use of non-standard radio telephony phraseology and non-standard procedures. That's why friends, the transmission techniques which are used in the radio telephony communication procedure should always be known to one. Okay, so let us start the session now. So transmission techniques, one of the points which you should know is like the receiver volume. Receiver volume. So friends, I hope you will be knowing what is a transmitter and a receiver. A transmitter is a device which is used for transmission of your message and a receiver is a component which receives the message suppose you are in the aircraft and you are a pilot and you are communicating with atc so suppose that you are transmitting a message to the ground station so when the ground station replies back your aircraft receiver should be ready so for that you need to keep your receiver volume to the optimum level because if you don't keep your receiver volume to the optimum level so then whatever you transmit and the moment atc is replying back to you you will not be able to hear properly hence friends before you transmit make sure that you have adjusted the receiver volume at the optimum level and the other thing is friends whenever you will be doing this process like when you will be transmitting a message and receiving a message make sure that whatever frequency you are setting to communicate with the ATC that frequency is correct and the other thing which you should know friends when you will be doing this thing is like you have to listen out on the frequency which you will be using so that you don't get distracted from the other stations while you will be transmitting next microphone operating techniques so friends let me remind you again we are considering that you are a pilot and you want to communicate with the ground station so friends you should be familiar with the microphone operating techniques suppose there's a microphone so friends what should you know regarding the microphone operating techniques in this you should know that friends whenever you'll be talking on the microphone do not turn away your head and suppose if there are some conditions which cause you to turn away your head while you will be talking then in that case just suspend the speech and then you can turn your head okay next friends severe distortion in your speech can happen because of three things one is if you are holding the microphone too close to your lips that means do you should not hold the microphone too close to your lips next severe distortion in the speech can also happen if you touch the microphone to your lips okay and the severe distortion can also happen if you are holding the microphone with your hand and talking so friends avoid these things next what you should know is conversation tone so in conversation tone friends whatever you would be talking okay whatever you would be transmitting make sure that you are using a normal conversation tone make sure that you don't talk in a very loud or very in a very low a tone keep a normal conversation tone next enunciate each word so friends whatever you would be speaking okay for transmission make sure that you enunciate each word clearly means you have to pronounce each word clearly and distinctly so that the receiver is able to understand what exactly you are speaking next rate of speech so friends in rate of speech what you should know is you should always maintain an even rate of speech 
and try to maintain 100 words per minute. I know that friends, you will not be able to count you know, the words you would be transmitting in a minute. So in that, what you can do is you can practice some transmissions, okay, at your home, you can sit and you can practice. And with that, you can slowly maintain your rate of speech evenly, okay. So the idea is whatever you would be transmitting, the other station should be able to understand it clearly, okay. Next, speaking volume. So in speaking volume, what do you understand friends? You should always uh, talk in a way that the volume of your tone or the volume of your whatever you are talking should be constant. Okay, it should not be very high, it should not be very low, it should be at a constant level. So that's what I want to tell here by means of this point, speaking volume. Okay, next is maintain pause. means whenever you are transmitting numbers so maintain pause maintain pause means whenever you would be transmitting numbers okay so in that case always maintain a pause before and after pronouncing a number this will ensure that whatever you transmit okay is understandable clearly to the receiving station so friends that's what i meant with maintain pause okay next avoid sounds now which sounds you should avoid friends so like the hesitation sounds like whenever they are talking they used to say uh, uh, okay so you have to stop using those sounds and you should prevent those things from happening okay so moral of the story avoid those hesitation type of sounds whenever you would be transmitting a message next depress transmit switch so now this transmit switch which i am talking about it can be a pdt switch okay or it can be the switch on a handheld microphone okay suppose you are using a handheld microphone make sure that before you transmit you hold the pdt switch fully okay and then transmit so once you have transmitted your message completely then only release the transmit button Okay, friends, this will ensure that the whole of your message has been transmitted clearly to the receiving station. So friends, I will repeat again this point. This is very, very important. Whenever you want to transmit a message, make sure that the transmit switch is held first and then you transmit. Okay, so first press the button and then talk. Okay, so when you have transmitted your speech fully, then release this button. So when you release the button, this will ensure that the whole of your message has been transmitted to the receiving station. So friends, I hope you are clear with this. Next, mother tongue may not be English. So friends, related to this point, mother tongue may not be English. What do you understand? Okay, so in this, you should know that friends, whenever you would be transmitting a message, it should be in your mind that whoever is at the receiving station, that person's mother tongue may not be English. Okay, so misunderstanding can happen whenever you communicate with him. So in order to avoid this, what you can do is use the standard radio telephony procedures and the standard phraseology in the radio telephony. This will make sure that no misunderstandings take place. Next most irritating irritating and potentially dangerous situation okay so most irritating and potentially dangerous situation here what i mean is suppose the microphone button is stuck then in that case, it will be too much irritating and sometimes like whatever message you don't want to transfer, it may be transmitted to the receiving station. So friends, here I mean to say that is the PDT switch is stuck or the button which is linked with your microphone is stuck. So friends, in order to avoid this thing from happening, what you can do is once you have transmitted a message, you release the button and keep away the microphone at a safe place so that these things do not happen like the microphone button being stuck okay like the pilots who are using the boom set for them pdt switch is separate so in that case there is no need to worry because the pdt switch is already 
a separate unit and I am talking about the case in which you are using a handheld type of microphone wherein suppose this is your handheld microphone so what you do is press the PDT button you just communicate and then you release that's what you have to do okay sometimes it used to stuck because of some problem maybe some problem with the device so what you can do is make sure that this button is not left in the squeeze position because if the microphone button on the handheld microphone is left in the squeezed position then what will happen is it may behave like a stuck microphone okay and that would be too much irritating okay so avoid that thing friends so what did we learn in this in order to avoid this irritating situation where the microphone button is stuck what one can adopt the measure is they can keep away the handheld microphone separately whenever they don't want to transmit okay next is wait 10 seconds okay means for what you need to wait for 10 seconds whenever you transmit a message friends you should wait for at least 10 seconds before you transmit the next message because in those 10 seconds the receiving station may be they are preparing to reply to your message so friends if you do this that means wait for 10 seconds after transmission of a message so if this will eliminate the unnecessary transmissions while the receiving station is preparing to reply for your initial call so friends i'll quickly revise what we have discussed today today we have discussed about some of the transmission techniques which are used in the radio telephony communication procedures so when we have discussed about all these points so the first point which we have studied is receiver volume so here what did we study we studied that before you transmit make sure that you keep the receiver volume at the optimum level and next we have discussed about the microphone operating techniques make sure that the device which you are using for transmissions that is like especially the microphone you should be familiar with it how to use it okay like for example you should not turn away your head whenever you will be talking suppose this is your microphone and while i am talking in this microphone i should not turn away my head because this will vary the volume of this uh, audio or speech whatever i am transmitting okay and also some important points we have seen in this is like the speech can be distorted if you hold the microphone too close to your lips and the other point which we discussed is yes you should not hold the microphone while you'll be transmitting okay so friends remember these points next conversation tone always maintain a normal conversation tone the tone should not be very high or very low it should be a normal conversation tone while you are communicating next enunciate each word you should pronounce each word clearly and distinctly so that it is understandable to the receiving station next we will discuss about the rate of speech in rate of speech we have discussed that we should always maintain an even rate of speech right now what i am talking is i am talking a bit fast because we have already gone through the topic okay but you should be knowing that whenever you are transmitting a message and you know that in RTL exam, the receiving station, which is your examiner, he's also writing whatever you're saying. So in that case, you should know that you should slightly speak slow, okay? So that he also gets time to write whatever you are transmitting. Try to maintain 100 words per minute whenever you are uh, transmitting a message. Next, speaking volume. The speaking volume should always be at a constant level. After that, we have discussed that maintain pause whenever we are transmitting numbers. Suppose, for example, I am transmitting a frequency like 119er. So in that case, I have to wait first. I have to say like this, 1, then pause, and then 1, then pause, and then 9er. Okay. So that's how we pronounce numbers. So why do we do it like this? So that it becomes easy to understand clearly so that the receiving station hears it clearly and understands it. Next, we have discussed about avoid sounds. So the hesitation sounds like uh, 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 all those things should be prevented whenever you will be transmitting your messages. Next is the press transmit switch. Whenever you are transmitting a message, first what you need to do is press the transmit switch. Suppose there is a transmit switch, you press it first, then you transmit. Okay, then you speak, I mean to say. Once you have completed your message transmission, then you can release the transmit button. Okay, that's how the transmit button should be used or transmit switch should be used next is mother tongue may not be english i mean i mean to say in this point is the receiving station to which you are communicating in that the person who is sitting his language may not be english so in that case you should always use the standard radio telephony procedures and that will be known to him or her as well so this would avoid the misunderstanding next is most irritating and potentially dangerous situation is your PDT button stuck or the microphone button stuck like in a handheld microphone there's a button so if you press and 
that button and if it is stuck there is a potentiality in this situation so in order to avoid these things make sure that whenever you are using that device after using it just keep it away and then only when you require it then you can use it again next uh, wait for 10 seconds means whenever you transmit a message just wait for some seconds approximately 10 seconds so that the, it will eliminate chances of making unnecessary transmissions while the receiving station is preparing for your initial call so friends i hope you are clear with today's session and also i hope you know why we are learning all these things it's because we're going to avoid misunderstandings so in the example which i was taking i was considering that you are a pilot in flight and you are communicating with the ground station so whenever the pilot is communicating with the ground personnel he always need to use the standard radio telephony procedures and the standard radio telephony phraseology okay and if he does not use this, sometimes some misunderstandings can happen. And you know, in French, in past, many of the incidents have taken place because of the misunderstandings caused by the use of non-standard techniques in transmission. So friends, hence moral of the story, we should always prefer using standard radio telephony procedures whenever you are in that particular job. Okay, so we'll meet again in the next topic. Till then, enjoy learning this topic and thank you.